this one. Whoa, I think they changed the uh, texture on these dudes. That's pretty sweet. It's righteous, man. to load up some Dreadful Dead here. It feels like I have to. What the hell is a pedal steel hunter? I don't think of Jerry Garcia as like a great pedal guitarist, but maybe... I'm wrong. I was just there looking for a miracle. Did get to see him once, though, at least. Good, good thing about being old sometimes. has me thinking back quite a bit now that's how you would score acid at uh, Grateful Dead concerts stick your finger up saying you're looking for a miracle you have like five guys swarming you good times Actually, I think I saw something that the Grateful Dead, the rest of the Grateful Dead dudes are touring again. I don't know if you could really call it the Dead without Jerry, though. That's me. Not like I was a huge fan, but... certainly met some cool people. Because of that band. Definitely don't remember the tie-dyed wings, but that's pretty sweet. one is Gary? Oh, Gary the alien? Yeah, I don't know if I want to mess with that. I don't really have a whole lot of need for robot parts. I don't want to have to stockpile a bunch of that. I've got enough crap here already, I think.
If they had a mission for UFOs, I'd probably be a heck of a lot more tempted. Garcia Claus. I don't know. If... Oh, sweet. Looks like we can make armor plates again. Thing, but if it does, yeah, sweet. Yeah, there. Uh, if you're doing any input for missions, the uh, cyber demons don't count for the hackathon mission, which says cyber demons should count. So it's only the. Uh, what, what the hell are the the level 50-ish demons anyway that count for that that and the UFO mission would be sweet all the other missions seem pretty good though I think I don't think I've run into any problems with any others But it would be nice to kill cyber demons and get credit. And then the vamp, but I haven't even tried it. If things are fixed, she might spawn again. I need like a week. It's like 40 hours of hunting straight. And I definitely couldn't do it before the VU, which would wipe it all out anyway, so. Oh, yeah, there's crabs, huh? Where the hell. Where. That's right, they added those. I totally forgot about those crabs. I'll figure out where that is. Thanks for the reminder on that. All right, sweet. That might be worth trying. Yeah, I'll check that out after I finish off these Garcias. complete one mission while I'm here.
Yeah, I'm not sure. I probably will. I'm in Cat 10, though, so it's kind of... There's, you know, I can't really compete. Even with all this gear. There's just better weapons. So I'm not sure. Maybe do it for boxes. If I could get back into Cat 10, I could win it. Or Cat 9. I could actually get some PM tokens, but I highly doubt I could get PM tokens in Cat 10. Sweet. We got a half. That should be pretty easy. You're going to use that assassin? That thing got me up there pretty quick. Throw some enhancers on it. It skills fast as hell. Yeah, I think I used that all the way up through this. To, and this is level 80. I haven't even heard about it, so, but maybe. Yeah, that's the thing about it. The trade-off is it decays a lot, but you're getting payoff in skills. So you can skill up fast, but you're paying for it. I will admit that it is a costly gun. AR Matrix and stuff like that nowadays are probably much better on your pet card, anyhow. Yeah, it's crazy. I've gotten, I got so many more hoffs off that assassin than like this gun. It's not even funny. I think that's why. There's something to it to where the decay was a little higher and the cost was higher to run, so you lose money generally, but then you get some pretty massive hits to make up for it. I've won a lot of events that way too. Yeah, I'd probably win that, yeah. Oh, sweet. For some reason, I didn't think level 50s would drop platinums, but... Yeah, I have a lot of fond memories of that gun, for sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure too. And I don't think there'd be a whole lot of people that'd be willing to spend the ped to tear it up anymore. Only I was crazy enough to do that. I don't remember what that cost.
So yeah, it's 143 DPS, 141. Some of my notes on it. It's not the one that, oh, I didn't have any prices on it, but that's what it needed for. It really isn't that bad. Thought it cost more than that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't remember what it cost for ten. I think I've got a note on it somewhere, but. Yeah, and I don't know, I kind of always had a theory that, that there was a reason that they kind of replaced those old school guns. Because it seemed to me that they kind of had a modifier to them. Where, yeah, they would decay like crazy, but you could get some pretty massive multipliers with them. And then they started coming out with limited guns, and then they started coming out with AR Matrix and all kinds of other options to get away from that. So I don't know. Money. <laughs> I've only been able to accumulate stuff in the game over years just because of crafting or whatever, you know. But I don't really have a whole lot of money to pour into the game for, you know, I'm not made of money or anything. And at this level, to get a gun that would really do it, I would need to spend eight to ten thousand dollars, or although otherwise it would just be wasted money, really. So if I'm going to upgrade, it would have to be something like that. And I'm just not prepared to do that. Because this does pretty well anyway. I mean, as it is, I can kill most things pretty easy. It still is a pretty nice DPS when it's all enhanced and everything. With reload and all that. It's still kind of hard to beat for the price range because like I said you have to go double or three times the money to really start getting anything that will make any kind of difference but who knows maybe one day the reward moves something massive but even still I don't know there's not a whole lot of guns that really so that King Kong Tug 80, I think. But it's only 4 DPS more than this. So it, it's still a really nice gun, but it, I don't know if it's much worth the upgrade. Maybe an AR Matrix like 120 pistol or something. Way down the line. Or the Mayhem pit guns. Some of those are pretty sweet.
Thanks, Zvaba. Appreciate that. Yeah, see, I don't know. That's the thing. I've got. I bought this pistol not too long ago because I can get because it gets seventy five percent. But then I've also been using like this one. I've almost used up. It's ninety two percent. I really don't see much difference. And I ran this one through. I've got some one o fives air matrix. And I've burned one of those rifles. I didn't really see anything massive change. So I don't know. I just don't. I don't think I have enough sample size for sure, but even with 90% efficiency or like the pistol that I have, which like I said, gets up to 70, 71, 73, and that's pretty nice DPS too, 70 DPS. And even with this, you know, I bought it and I've had a lot of time on that one and I still don't really see a whole lot of difference other than the loot composition is slightly different. So I like to use a pistol in the instances because it seems that I get more, I don't know, possibility for the trigger, I guess, of like speed metal or whatever is going to, might drop in there. Yeah, that's the problem is you have to spend the money to buy the 90, 90 efficiency and then you gotta spend the time and then figure out whether or not it's worth it and especially when I see some people when they buy those weapons and then they tear them up and then all of a sudden they're selling them and then you wonder okay why are they selling them so quick clearly it's not the winner they thought it was gonna be you know I don't know You'd think if it just made money all the time, they'd never sell them ever. And I thought like I IMK2, but the DPS is just too low. It's just not. Your kill rate kind of sucks. Can't kill. I don't know. I like to mission a lot, so I like to. That's why I like the big DPS of this gun because it can just burn through missions. But it's kind of like unamped mining, you know? MK2, you could probably just sit there all day long and make steady profits, but the excitement level is just low. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, like I say, it's steady, steady return. More reliable, for sure. You know, less ups and downs. If any, ups and downs. But kind of mindless. Eighty-seven. Yeah, it's not even really a comparison anymore. Yeah, the new guns are... I kind of feel bad for those guys that own those guns, but at the same time, can't really complain too much. Yeah, it looks like a decent gun. A little bit low on DPS, though, I think. Maybe. Even still. The only ones that really kind of tickled my eye for the DPS were like the 100s and the 120s. And that's just a while. That, too. As I was saying, it, it was a hard push for me to buy this gun. And it's half the price as a lot of those. Half, 
well now it's more like a quarter of the price as a lot of those. Yeah, in comparison to mine, this one's 91. So I'd definitely be looking at it if I didn't already have this gun. Because it's definitely sweet, with, especially with the efficiency. And it, and it has some range, I think. If I remember right, definitely more range than this, this thing. But I also kind of like that this doesn't have range, because my defense skills get lots of work oh that's crazy yeah see I don't know if that's worth it because I'm at what 63% or something like that yeah 64% and what is that 70 75% efficiency or 80% efficiency, maybe? So I don't know. I don't know if it's... I, you know, I don't know. I'd love to see if they had a chart that says, okay, you're going to save this much money if you buy that. And then you could say, oh, okay, well, in three years I could pay it back, but it's kind of hard to do that. Yeah, exactly. Don't really need to worry about the range. Most of my stuff. I think I'm at 68, 67, 66, Vader. I think 58, Dodger, yeah. But actually, a lot of that started moving because of intuition, really. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of guns or not a whole lot of amps that have really, really super nice efficiency. Speaking of which. Put that. See that amp's really nice because it's ninety eight point five, but they're you can't get them anymore because the Eman. Want to put that on there? But those are the only amps that I think would be worthy putting on those. Otherwise, yeah, it destroys their efficiency. And those amps are kind of shitty for probably wouldn't match the DPS anyway. Hey, good morning, Toast. Yeah, like I said, we'll see. If Mindark hits me up with something super awesome, then maybe I could consider one of those guns. Find out one day. Hey, Joe. Twenty more. Yeah, two percent would add up, especially if you're running. 2,000 an hour, two, 3,000 ped an hour.
do that for eight hours a day. I don't know if I'd want to do that, but I've certainly done it. Make a small part-time job out of it. That wasn't too bad. Forgot, I think these make like a guitar sound every time you swing them. Nope. Kind of a weak guitar sound. Thank you. Oh, sweet, these drop again too. I don't know what they're for. Actually, I could look at my site. Pilots Federation Trucker Cap. Because that's massive demand item right there. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to be busy just selling Pirates Federation hats all day long. I might need a reseller. Pilot Federation and Crunk Hats. They own the market. Actually, other people own Crunk Market. But I have a small part of it that will go to the TT machine, I'm sure. Yeah, I really like those Argo claws. It's half tempted to maybe just go kill Argos and just try for that. Because that's really one of the only ones that interests me. I have all the other weapons I need. But claws, we don't have a whole lot of power fist items. It'd be sweet if there was like an 80 DPS power fist or claw. Yeah, that would be it's crazy. It'd be nice to bring back some naked power fisting to, like, Big Aussie or something. Like people used to do for H rocks back in the day. Mass tons of people. I don't know if you guys remember some of those. At least, I don't know. Our, our society used to do them. We used to see other groups out there. 
See, like, 20, 30, like, OJs running around power fisting, naked, dying every, everywhere. some fun days clubs could use some better options too I'm really surprised they haven't come up with AR Matrix clubs and fists, to be honest. Pretty sure we profited on this one. What one half and three globals? So I'll be doing some material crafting later. Got a ton of wools here. But might get some blueprints or something maybe. Actually, the snake missions I forgot about, they, they're, uh, you get tailing skills off of those. I wonder if their hides actually drop now. Do you happen to know Unicate? the same song that's been playing all day long and I don't know Motorhead enough it's probably a Motorhead song there's no lyrics though all day the um what the hell was I talking about I don't remember yeah that thing what the fuck was I talking about I don't know. I was asking you if you knew about something. And I just flew over my teleport, didn't I? No. Okay. Thank you.
I think that was the first. Maybe it was the second. I was talking about. Oh, that's all right. I'm just mumbling anyway. So we were right at 2,000. Now we're at 25. Let's see what the damage is on the repair, which won't be much. So at 107 on repairs, so we're about 384 on pet up. for sale already. Not like anybody will buy it, but who knows. Find a slot for new loot. I like that. Say what? You don't need claws for that. You need hides. We need claws for these. Blood and help. Garcias need hides to drop. Thank you. Acid burn. Interesting mix. Too bad we have no hides. Where did I say Pilots Federation? Let's double check that.
sweet. I just need to spend like all kinds of money to make hats that nobody will buy. It'll be awesome. or the unrefined Hey, have a good day, Joe. Thanks for watching. It's always good to hang out with you. Hopefully we'll see you often soon on uh, FOMA. Big, like, five digit, six digits. I think I'm probably going to go offline here and craft out some of these oils anyway just to get some of this ped back but uh yeah thanks for watching everybody i'll be back probably later and run some things i'm not sure what but uh yeah thanks for watching and have a good day hope everybody hoffs something massive and then um yeah i don't want to leave that all right i'm gonna end the stream have a good day guys and girls thanks